guys, Exploring with John. We are here for another video. We are with Steve, Cody, and Josh. So be sure to subscribe to them. And today we are exploring this huge amusement park. Um, they had uh, two owners, and one owner owned the amusement park side, along with the other one owned the, owned the animal park. So there was two spots to it. Um, it opened up in the 1950s and closed down in 2014. So it's pretty interesting to see what could be behind the history of this place. We're gonna take a walk back into it. So. Tune in for it. We are walking on the side of Santa Claus's house and let's take a look inside this house. As you can see, it says Santa Claus right there. And this is the entrance. We're gonna take a look into it. We're with Steve. Steve, you join me on this adventure inside here? Yeah. You're gonna be amazed. Oh my god. It feels so homey and cozy. Like nothing has been touched here. Holy crap. This is insane. This is amazing. Merry Christmas okay. from Santa's Bland. Even look at the teddy bear. Oh my god. Look at all these drawings on the walls too. It's like kindergarten kindergarten kids who drew these. Or color them in actually. It could have been like a, a trace out. Well I guess that was it guys. A quick visit to Santa Claus's house. Um, home of Santa Claus himself. So don't be a naughty kid and don't do anything bad because Santa Claus might not pay you a visit. But either way, I'm so amazed of the spirit of everything right now. Just looking at every, just looking at this. It's amazing. Let's see what else we come across. Kind of stinks here, but you got, you got Hello Kitty candy perfume. Hello, <laughs> is that what stank up the entire place? No, that is. Oh god, that's gross. So it must have been like even like not just. So they might not even serve just candy here. It seems like it's someone's out like their their own home. I mean look at there's a stove right there. Um hamburger helper. It's like somebody would actually live in here. You got the refrigerator. But then again you would serve like whatever you're selling right there for the customers that come in. And yeah, we're standing behind like the the workers area, so it's like we're an employee right now. So I I'm pretty surprised of how interesting this this place is along with overall ev everything it's everything it just has such a different theme to it. it you really feel like you're in the Santa Claus like Christmas spirit just exploring this and then there's like just a theme park experience as well so this is really interesting to say guys check that out Santa's wishing well the coins tossed into Santa's wishing well are donated to the Christmas stocking, some organization. All right, and here's the well. Doesn't seem like a, a well no more, but it used to be, I guess, at least. Oh my God, just take a look at this. I feel like I'm tall. Usually like I'm the small guy within the group or like in general because I'm, I'm pretty short like 5'6 but being inside here I feel like I'm actually tall considering that it seems like it's a school for gnomes, young gnomes. Let's look into this. Oh my god, look at the way these desks are made. A lot of old drawings that remain here. Running through the 6 with my hoes. <laughs> Woes. I don't think that was there during the time. But look at this. This is this is pretty exciting to explore. It really just delivers the theme of this place. It's kind of cool cuz look at how old the TV is. The TV is. Even checking out this. There's a Christmas tree that remains here and there is the desk it seems like this is a desk that sticks out from all the other colored desks. I'm starting to get the sense that this might have been for the, the teacher who remained here. It, kids might have watched like instruction videos right on this TV for, for the drawing wise and everything. Steve has just entered the room. Steve, you want to have a sit and learn how to draw? Yes, please. <laughs> just kind of cool. It looks like this is where the kids would paint the drawings and that's where the drawings came from that were all hanged up on like inside the houses. Yeah, it, it really does seem like that. It probably was. It's probably one of the activities they did around this park. It seems like it's the main focus activity that was around this park. It doesn't seem like it's a park for like adults or anything, you know? Yeah. This place is really exciting. We're going to check out some other buildings. So, so far we got the preschool. We also got Santa Claus's house and we got the, the candy shop. 
what else can we come across? So this place really just sticks out to me as I'm, I'm, I'm venturing through this. It, it, it's so unfortunate to see things like this go to a waste considering that it was the owner's fault for not being able to keep up the place. Like if this place was still being active in everything, it would have been perfect. So right now, I am standing in front of the tracks. These tra railroad tracks right here actually takes you around the entire amusement park. So this is a train that I'm going to assume that they use and this is a sleigh that falls behind the train. This thing takes you all the way around. I'm assuming it's just for like the animal view so you could watch the animals as they're inside the cages doing what they're doing. They even have an igloo house. A whole house that's just an igloo. <laughs> Look at that. What? Just wandering here. It seems like we're catching up with Cody and Josh. Let's see what their their plans are. Oh my god. Holy crap. This place really had the Christmas spirit behind it. Christmas classic collections. Wow. So I'm really digging the atmosphere of what we're in right now. I mean, we're walking through a gift shop. I mean, it's as if everything was still here if it was just like a closed shop. That's the cool thing about it. And that's a great thing because not much people know about this place. So if a lot of people knew about this, then this place would not be the same, same way that we see it now. We'll give it some time. But just taking a look around, it's just so like brand new. Everything feels so preserved. It's amazing walking through this. Never have ever been in one place like this before. For me, I don't think I've ever saw... Who do they call these? Uh, uh, Rubik's Cube? Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. So these are the Rubik's Cube. What? <laughs> <laughs> so for all of you guys who saw this Rubik's Cube, I give you props because I will never be able to do one of these things. Let's take some real skill right here. Due to animal cruelty, this place has been shut down. This was a huge theme park for young children to come by and celebrate the holiday spirits filled with complete positivity. Unfortunately, animals were abused here, even leaving seven deers to die due to sickness and not being well treated within the theme park zoo. This place has been shut down for good. But anyway, so now we're making our way to the, the petting zoo of the spot for all the animals and since this place was a whole, uh, a half of an amusement park and a half of a, a petting zoo, this is where all the animals would also be located. So there's cages and cages left and right. Even down there, that's all a petting zoo over there. Santa's Alpine Railroad entrance. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's pretty creepy. But wow. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's like the only graffiti that I've seen all day. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's just freaky. Encourages adults to take the train ride with their children. You will enjoy the trip. They will enjoy it more with your company. Nice. Well, Santa's a good guy after all, you know? A whole ride through the entire amusement park from this railroad. So pretty much a train takes you all the way around and I'm assuming as it goes all the way around there must be animals all around there too. You get to see the, the, the zoo part of this entire amusement park which is pretty cool I'd say. Um, it's just so unfortunate to see how actually terribly treated that the animals actually were and it's why in 2014 I believe six deers were sick and actually died. So it's kind of like animal cruelty unfortunately. Well. It appears that that's really it for you guys. Um, we're going inside a gift shop today. It, it was a really cool, interesting exploration. I mean, I never really explored a theme park that's full on the Christmas theme inside of things. So, 
pretty cool seeing, seeing what we're seeing today. It's just so, it's so cool just to see a place so completely abandoned with no vandalization, no one else coming here and actually coming here and seeing everything almost as if it was still the way it was. So that's really exciting to see. Walking through this huge gift shop and that's the, the atmosphere it kind of shows you. So I know probably within like a year or a few or some time from now, this entire place is going to be completely demolished and that's going to be the completely unfortunate thing. When, it's all, when this place comes more viral and many people know about this. So that's why we're going to give away our, pretty much our locations in case people actually come here and actually destroy these places themselves because we just love to see these places the way they are when they're first just abandoned. So tune in for more. Be sure to subscribe to Cody, Josh, Steve. They're also tuned in on this video along with be sure to check me out on my social media for any updates. Thanks for watching guys and I'll tune in for more Exploring with John. Go for it! With it! Enthusiasm to it!